What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today is a very sad day. Um, I went to change the oil on the old 6.0 power stroke and found metal on the oil drain plug magnet. So the fun really begins after this. Welcome to the channel. My name is Wade. And if you like anything DIY that has to do with an RV or a truck with no fluff in the middle of the video, hit the subscribe button down below. I release videos all the time that are straight and to the point. Now let's get into the project. All right, so what we have here is a 1,000 pound uh, draw magnet. And as you can see here, that's not a beard. That is metal shavings. Um, so the oil drain plug had metal shavings and then I pulled the oil filter and ran this other magnet through the veins on the oil filter to get the rest of this out. Um, I think it was either um, the turbo that was in the truck that went bad. So like recently I replaced the turbo and that turbo went bad after a week and it had in and out shaft play. And the other thing that happened within the last few weeks was I had my rear main seal replaced by a shop. So one of those two things are the only two things that it could have been in between my last oil change and the oil change here where I found the metal. I mean, you could say that it was a lifter that failed, but there was no needle bearings in it. And um, the, the oil doesn't have like a goldish color to it or anything like that, so it's not bearing material either. All right, so I'm going to take you over to the truck and uh, show you what I've done so far to try and figure out where the hell this came from. So let's talk about what we did to get to this point. This is the short version of the video, so you don't get to see everything. I'll just tell you what I did. Um, so this was all put back together practically. Um, pulled out the fan shroud, pulled out the fan, pulled out the turbo. Then I took apart took out both of my alternators. This is a, the dual ambulance uh, package. Um, turbo out. Then I took the wiring, pulled the wiring to the front, took out the intake manifold, and then took out the oil cooler. All right, so whenever I got the oil cooler out, this whole, uh, let me get my pointer stick. This whole uh, um, valley right here was full of oil. Um, so I took this magnet, and I ran it down in here like this and tried to see if I could get any metal shavings. Um, whenever I did that, there wasn't uh, very much at all. Like if it was, it probably looked about like that. Um, and that screen right there, it looked to be full of metal, um, but whenever I pulled it out, the screen was actually full of uh, red fuzz from red shop towels from the last time that I had the oil cooler out and was cleaning all this crap with red shop towels, so don't use cloth towels. Uh, so in saying that, there was no metal in that screen, and then I took the screen out, just like that, and then ran the magnet up that hole right there to the high pressure oil pump, and again, I didn't find any metal. So uh, let's back up to the oil cooler. Um, I had taken the oil cooler completely apart, disassembled it, um, took all the O-rings out, I pressure washed it, and then I cleaned out the oil cooler itself. The oil side, I ran uh, gasoline through it a bunch of times, got everything out, and the water side, I just ran pressured water through it because I've got the Fixture 6 uh, adapter that you can screw a water hose into on it. Um, did that, got it all nice and clean. There was no metal in the oil cooler. I ran my magnet down in there too, on the uh, oil side. But uh, coincidentally enough, there was some um, O-ring material in the uh, oil side. So uh, yeah, I don't know where that came from, but I got that out of there and I got that completely all put back together. So right now I'm waiting for that a new screen to put that in. So I know oil didn't get past the oil filter to the rest of the system and obviously if metal is in your oil filter it obviously goes through your low pressure oil pump because all of your oil goes through the oil the low pressure oil pump but um i've already put it back together as you can see my uh my dampener on down there but uh 
I had pulled that off yesterday. I pulled the low pop gears and um, I have video of that that I will pop in here somewhere. So we are um, good as far as uh, it not being needle bearings because if you look right here, all right, so there's a little uh, um, separation point there and then the separation point here. So um, whenever you have your needle bearings go out, the bearings will uh, grind inside these gears. There's a little bit of wear on it because, I mean, metal did pass through the engine, but it wasn't those needle bearings. I, obviously, it's a much softer metal because it didn't uh, mess up these gears or it didn't um, also create a valley right here. Like uh, the metal will dig down into this aluminum and, be, and if, they're, if the valley in this gets too big, it will not allow the... Um, these low pressure oil gears to pressurize the oil and send it up to your oil filter housing and your uh, high pressure oil pump. So I'm kind of leading t leaning towards that it was the turbos uh, bearing material because like uh, there's two brass bearings and then there's one of the uh, the spacer for the bearings is uh, made out of ferrous metal. So I'm thinking maybe that is what happened. It got chewed up a little bit and put the metal in my system. So um, what I also did was I took the oil that I drained out of here and I took my thousand pound test magnet as well as a paint strain. You can get them at like Lowe's. Uh, it's like a fabric material that's um, that's used for uh, filtering paint. So I filtered my oil through that with this magnet sitting in the filter. So I poured the oil directly onto this surface and the fil that filter itself just caught, you know, dirt and stuff like that. But um, I did that twice, re-put the oil back in the truck, drained it, filtered it, did that process twice. And I didn't come out with any additional metal. So like, the metal that I did capture was all from the drain plug and the oil filter. All right, so um, I'm waiting for the uh, oil cooler screen to come in. Um, and when that does, I will put that in and I'm gonna put everything back together. I'm gonna refilter my oil, put the oil back in the truck and I'm going to drive the truck for, I don't know, maybe like 500 miles or something like that and then drop that oil again and see if there's any new metal on the uh, oil plug magnet. So uh, I guess that's a good little uh, what's going on and what I've done so far video and I will give you an update I guess in the comments um, below uh, as to if the problem was fixed or if I need to further journey into the engine and or replace the engine. All right, guys, well, we're all done here. And as always, if we don't see you on the road, we'll see you in the next video. Stay safe out there.